16 hours, the Chavarria family drove from Sacramento to Fence Lake, just an hour away from Grants. Their hope? To see their sister's grave, a sister they hadn't seen since the 1980s and only recently found out had passed away while living on the aggressive Christianity Missions Training Corps compound. All they're asking for is to be able to see the gravesite. No, nobody comes on the property. A member of the group at the compound turned them away when they approached the property's gate. Repent or you will all perish. No. That's, That's what Jesus said. Repent or you will all perish. The Chavarria family recently found out Martha died, but her death happened nearly 11 years ago. The Cibola County Sheriff's Office says she died of natural causes on the compound, a site now under scrutiny after group leaders and seven members of the aggressive Christianity missions were arrested and charged with crimes against children in recent weeks. My parents are in their 80s and before... Um, their wishes were to see Martha before they died. And unfortunately, last week we learned that um, she had passed. And so it, it was devastating for my parents. We were only going to be here for five minutes, maybe look at her grave and, and, and say a prayer. And that was it. Um, it didn't have to be this way. The family last saw Martha when she was 21. She cut ties with them in the 80s after joining the religious group. Yeah, she definitely wanted to serve God and she wanted, um, you know, to be that servant for, for God. So it's just unfortunate that we didn't get to see her sooner. The family was also hoping to meet Martha's daughter, who they say is a member of the religious group, but today they were turned away without that chance. In Grants, Katie Mosh, KYT, Action 7 News.